Welcome, 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 guys. It is another Wednesday live training inside of here, Cashless ATM for Beginners. I'm going to be your host, Paul Alex, founder of MerchantAutomation.com, guys. And we have a very exciting, exciting live training with one of my business partners, John Sarabia, guys. John's going to go into his background on how he started with a new job. He transitioned into merchant services and then started building a nine figure merchant services empire, guys. It's a truly unbelievable story, but he is going to break it down to the T and he's going to show you the value that we have seen ever since we started doing business with him and his partner, Robson. Now, without further ado, I am going to bring on John Sarabia. John Sarabia is one of my business partners uh, within the Merchant Automation Program, guys. He has helped build a nine-figure merchant services company within the past 15 years, and he has helped train thousands of agents throughout the merchant services industry nationwide. He is not, not only one of the best dudes in this game, but also one of the humblest and funny guys that you'll ever meet. All right, let's bring on John. John, what's up, buddy? Hello. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Good. How about yourself, man? Awesome. Awesome. Doing great. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. So, John, I uh, just want to dive into, I know we have quite a few people here that already know you, man, but for the people that don't, uh, let them know who you are, man. Yes. Yes. Everybody, welcome. Uh, my name is John Sarabia. I'm co-founder of Paybotics. I've been in the merchant services industry since 2005, uh, which is pretty crazy because, you know, nobody says, hey, uh, I'm going to go to college and do merchant services or I'm going to do my life. Life goal is to do merchant services. It's something I stumbled upon it. But once I discovered it, the thing that has kept me in, in this forever is the residuals, because the reality is. I have not clocked in to a job in probably 40 years, okay? Um, and, you know, and, and probably even before that, because I've, I've always turned down hourly paying jobs for the opportunity to make the money that I believe I am worth, okay? And it, it doesn't come from... I mean, it's not that I'm smarter than anybody. Uh, it's not that I work harder than anybody. Uh, it's just a belief that I have in myself that I can make more what somebody's willing to pay me hourly uh, in a shorter period of time. Okay. So when I found out about merchant services, you know, I was like, you mean I can, well, I already like talking to business owners because I'm an entrepreneur. I've always read books about entrepreneurship. Um, so I, I already said, so you, you're telling me I can go and talk to business owners, sign them up, save them money, not sell them anything, just save them money. And that's it. And, I, and I'm going to make residual income. And every month that is going to increase as I add accounts to it. And, you know, I was hooked. When I even it's funny because even when I saw my first my first residual check, was like 33 cents. And I'm like, okay, next next month is gonna double. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then every month is just gonna keep doubling and tripling, you know, uh, to the point where you're just like, you know, anybody can come into this industry and say, hey, if you're making $2,500, $3,000 a month, clocking in for 40, for 40 hours a week, you can come in this and, and within a, a three month period, actually with one account, we have a rep that joined and one of his accounts, he signed a, he signed a, uh, a tow truck company doing 130,000 a month, put him at 4% cash discount. That account brings in $2,000 a month in residuals. So for, for some people, this is, this is a life changing. We've had an amazing success. With some of the people that have already joined the program, um, it doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom uh, um, or you're, you know, working full time somewhere else. You know, it just takes a little bit of time to learn the process and then execute. Yeah, no, absolutely, man, and and I love that, dude. You know, 
there has been so many clients that their lives dramatically changed since they've started with this program. And, and the one thing that I resonate with every single one of you guys is that like, how, why didn't I know about this sooner? Huh. <laughs> you know, but, but it is what it is, man. You know, I had to go through, through roadblocks. I had to go through life experience. And then finally, man, dude, thank God. Like we, we met and you know, you told us about the opportunity because I was just like, this is amazing, bro. Mm. This is amazing. And then this program's only been out for the past few years, right, John? Yeah. So merchant services, as you well know, it's been around for a long time, but the cash discount program makes it that much more exciting because in traditional processing, which we still do, but when we're competing in, in traditional processing, we're going in and lowering their rates to save them money with, with, cash discount we, we're not even lowering the rates we're just passing the rates on instead of the business owner paying for them the customers are going to pay for them okay so a lot of times it gives us the ability to even raise the rates which is unheard of you know i can go into somebody that's on three percent their overall rate and processing is three percent i say i'm going to program the machine at four percent don't even worry about it your customers are going to pay for it you're going to pay zero and, you know, and, and, and all day long, I mean, we assigned, uh, I have a rep that's not with Merchant Automation, but was has been with us for 12 years, but he's not, he's been dormant. I call him sleepers because he's, he, he gets, he was getting a residual check. He had a couple accounts, a barber shop and another little place, and he's probably making 300 bucks a month for the last 12 years and, you know, and doing his regular life and his kids and everything. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just came up and uh, this the last few weeks and he signed two tire stores doing five hundred thousand dollars a month each. OK, that is life changing right there. Now you're talking about cash discount. Uh, these tire stores were paying fifteen thousand dollars a month in fees. Twelve thousand dollars a month in fees. They're saving all that money. It's life changing for the business owners of the tire stores, and for the rep, it's going to be life changing because he's probably going to make four or five thousand dollars a month in oh, residuals. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I I, <laughs> I, I, lo I love to hear it, man. I love to hear it because that just puts that fire inside of you to go and get more accounts. Right? Yeah. It becomes addicting. Yeah, and it and it is really it is it it, it is really like an ocean. And I've always said it, you know, I always said it, look, if you go out to here to the Pacific Ocean and, you know, you go out there with your fishing pole, you're going to catch a fish. As long as you're out there, you're going to catch a fish. Uh, then there's boats that are going to go out there and they're going to catch a lot of fish. OK, but there's plenty of fish for us to go out there and catch. Same thing oh, with yeah. the businesses. There's plenty of business. You know, when everybody's asked. You know, uh, why is there so many mattress stores? Who's buying mattresses? You know what I'm saying? And the way the world works is that there's people that are uh, uh, graduating from college. They're leaving. They graduated high school. They're buying a new mattress. People are getting married. People are getting divorced. Uh, people are moving constantly. So that's where you, all these mattresses come in. And the same thing with businesses. Businesses are going out of business. Businesses are new. Businesses are opening. New new people are taking over the business. So there's constant business out there. Um, and, you know, the majority of sales reps give up after the first no and they don't come back. And these a lot of these sales are made on the second or third visit. OK, and you don't even have to sell. I don't even like selling. Um, what, what I like to do is my motto has been make a friend, make a sale. So I'm going to go in the minute I can go in there and I can say, Hey, Paul, how's it going? How's, how's business? How's life, man? Great. Awesome. Boom. You know, when I can talk to you like that, that's when the sale is ready to go. Okay. So I teach and train everybody in my trainings that look, it's really a, just a people business. It's just getting to know if all you did was walked into a business and said, hi, my name is John Sarabia. I do merchant services. I do the cash uh, cash discount program. Here's my flyer. 
boom, you're not interested. Don't worry about it. I'm, I live in the area. I'm a local agent. I'll just stop in later. I'm going to come back in a week or two weeks. I remember I spoke to you last week. Yeah. How, you know, what'd you think about the program? Oh, you're still not interested. No, no worries. You know, when you're ready, I'm going to be ready. And I'm just going to keep following up with them every two weeks. And by the fifth or sixth time, he's going to be like, Hey, John, how's it going? Tell me again. Now, okay. Now, okay. Tell me about that program. And then boom, then the deal's done. It's just, That's it's, it. it's just a matter of showing up in, 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 you know, it's kind of like I drive by um, a billboard here by my house uh, at the, at the, at the bus stop, you see a billboard and this lady, she's a realtor. I, I, I drive by there so much. I know her name. I know her face. I feel like I know her. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. When the business owner first meets you, he doesn't know you. After a few times, he feels like he knows you. Yeah. So it's easy as you don't have to do sales. You just have to show up several times and uh, build that rapport and the, the sales done, the deal's done. Oh, yeah. Now, build, building rapport is, is the number one key. It's the uh, number one needle mover, I would say. And then following up is just essential to closing the deal. But, John, um, before we get deep into this, man, I, I have two questions for you. And, guys, if you guys are watching this right now, okay, we're about to drop some gems, okay? But what I want you guys to do is go ahead and flood those comments down below in the comments. Flood those comments with every single question you would want to ask john sarabia who has over john how, how much uh, experience do you have now uh, i'm probably I'm years going on, i'm going on 19 years 19 <laughs> years in merchant <laughs> services guys nine figure entrepreneur here so any questions guys drop them down in the comments below i'm gonna save them until we knock down these two main questions that i have for him that we usually get and then i'm gonna go ahead and start picking the best questions guys so make them good all right all right John, what is the number one objection that rookies typically get when they get into this business and they start talking to merchants? Yes. So the number one objection is is going to be is, is the simple one. Uh, is there's there's a couple. Uh, one is, and I don't consider I don't consider it a true objection. Okay, when somebody says I'm not interested, okay, I don't consider that a true a, a true objection i'm going to keep working on that until i got i what that means to me is you haven't gotten my attention yet okay you haven't gotten my attention you don't you haven't given me any reason uh to be interested okay uh so i'm going to work on getting their attention and you know what's going to get their attention is 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 a simple formula that i use guys when i talk to a merchant is like look how much volume do you do a month OK, if they say thirty thousand dollars a month, I multiply it times your, your average rate of three percent is nine hundred dollars. You're saving. I'm going to save you a month times twelve. That's ten thousand eight hundred times three. That's thirty two thousand four hundred dollars. Now, if I'm looking at your eyes and I say thirty two thousand four hundred and you don't bat an eye, I'm going to say, well, check this out. Let's say you're going to have your shop open for the next 10 years. You, I'm going to if I can save you ten thousand eight hundred dollars over the next 10 years. That's a hundred and eight thousand dollars that I could you could have towards your retirement fund. Now that is going to open their eyes, okay? That's going to open their eyes to say ten, a hundred and eight thousand dollars, you know. And I and I'll let them know you could either, that could either leak out of your business, or you could capture it right now, okay? Mm. So that's how I paint the picture. Now I got their attention. Now the real objection is going to come up. Oh, you know, I, I have loyal customers. I don't want to make my customers angry. You know, they, I, I don't know my, I don't think my customers will go for this. What I say to them to that is, Hey, look, uh, John, it's, I mean, Paul, I totally understand, you know, your fear. Okay. But we've been doing this program for four years. And one thing that we have found out over the four years is we have many clients similar to you and your business that had fears at the beginning and they thought about it for nine months. And, you know, after they, once they got on the program, they called me up in a week and said, Oh my gosh, I wish I would have did this nine months ago. 
because my no, nobody's ever nobody's complained. And you know the other thing, Paul, is that people come to your restaurant because you make delicious food and you offer great service. And people understand inflation and they want to help small business owners like yourself thrive, not just survive. Mm. Boom. Okay. Yeah. And that's the pitch that I have. These are pitches that I have created from real life experience in talking to business owners. Okay. Yeah. I know the conditions. I know inflation. I know what it does to a business. I had a client that had a fish, uh, uh, he owned a fish restaurant and he would buy $60 a box of fish. And with inflation, it went up to $120. Mm. So literally mm. he had to change his fish business to a chicken business, to chicken sandwiches, mm. you know, cause <laughs> chicken was a lot cheaper, you know, but he literally had to change the whole thing. And, you know, <clears throat> that's what happens with inflation. Um, and those are real life stories that I take from, and I, pres I use them as my presentations. Love it. Love it. Cool, man. Um, guys, that, that is some fire advice right there, guys. If you like that advice, go ahead and comment John down in the comments below, guys. Mm -hmm. Give him some props, guys. Go ahead and comment John down in the comments below. Show him some love. We're going to go into the next question, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick the top three questions that you guys are asking down in the comments below. I see you guys bringing them in, and that's right. Lee, John, Ryan, John. Man, they're, they're, they're blowing it up, John. They're, they're, they're loving your advice, bro. They're loving your advice awesome, as you can awesome. see it on the screen, bro. Yeah, we, yeah. We, you know, this is this is real life, guys. I have, I'm talking to sales reps every day, helping them close deals, giving them advice, finding solutions. At the end of the day, my job is just, I'm just a solution. I, I mean, I'm all about just finding solutions. Mm, mm. So, John, with that being said, let's talk about solutions. Now, um, I mean, we're, what we're already in March, which is crazy. I can't believe it's already March, bro. Yeah, but, yeah. um, okay. So since the beginning of March, we've been, um, enrolling quite a bit of clients into this, uh, this program, Merchant Automation. Um, what is a unique scenario that you have helped one of our new clients with that you can, uh, basically uh, give us a little, uh, backstory on, and then just tell us how your thought process was on getting a solution for them. Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, I have a gentleman, uh, I believe his name is Joseph, and he's up, up up in the Sacramento area. He calls me on a Saturday, and I was about to, yeah, and I was and I was literally I was like, okay, and I was about to order some food at a restaurant. I'm like, okay, let me just step outside and I'll sit down here. So he calls me. Joseph calls me. Hey, John, I have I'm here at the Indian restaurant uh, with the owner of the Indian restaurant. And then uh, he's like, and she's on the phone with her son to translate. So there's literally all four of us there. We, we're, we're like 20 minutes on the phone and, you know, she's asking questions. And then he, he and then she's her son is asking questions and then asking us and we're going back and forth. Uh, but, you know, even through the language barriers, we were able to he was able to get that deal signed, you know in his local area uh and you know he's not indian you know uh, uh you know so he was able to go in with, even with the language barriers we we're able to have four people on the phone and get this deal closed and answer all their questions nice nice i love that i love that oh and yeah that, that's one uh you know a lot of times you know sometimes they just need a second voice when I get on the phone and I talk to a business owner, uh, I'm like a doctor, guys. And everybody here should learn you're going to be like a doctor. And what a doc, if you go to the doctor's office, he's going to say, Hey, Paul, sit on the counter there. Okay. Go ahead and open your mouth and say, Ah, you know, he's just directing you. And you're like, Okay, whatever the doctor says, he knows what he's doing. Right. So, same thing like that. When I get on the phone with the business owner, I said, Look, Paul, this is what we got going. This is the cash discount program. We're going to save you a ton of money. I run through the numbers with them. All you're going to do, Paul, is you're going to sign the application with our agent. He's going to be your local agent. He's going to make sure he takes care of all your needs. And boom, let's get the deal done. Wow, Very direct. I love that, brother. 
I love that. Hey, man, closed mouths don't get fed, and I always tell everybody you got to be direct. There's no ifs, maybes, or buts. It's either a yes or no. Get it done. Yeah. But John, man, let's, let, let's, talk, let's talk some money, man. Let's talk some yeah. numbers, okay? This is, <laughs> this is what people love to hear, okay? Let's talk some money. So right now, what agents making, let's say, a good amount on residuals under you right now? And we're talking about an agent that you have trained, that you have helped grown as a as an infant into this monster in the merchant services industry, bro. That you can okay. say, man, I'm proud of this person. Yeah. So you know, well, really, there is uh, a four. I mean, all all our agents are doing great, but there's four that really stand out. Okay. And and the reason I say this is because uh, the first one is is uh, is Danny and Santos in New York. Okay. These are two kids. 24 years old. They started the program in April of last year. And right away, they were hitting resistance from everywhere. And they're like, oh my gosh, what are we, what do we get ourselves into? I can't, this is crazy. I don't know. You know, they were just, and I said, look, guys, you guys have got to focus. You know, you're still young. You're going to build this program over the years. Okay. But you guys need to buckle down. You need to learn a little bit about sales. You need to learn about the program. Boom. And, you know, they kind of disappeared for a couple months and, you know, and then they came back and we're like, okay, great. We've been working it. We're ready to go. Uh, in October, since October till now, they've signed about 12 to 13 accounts. And they're like, they're like, this is so easy now. We just go up. We, any objection that people, you know, because it is once you learn the program, the objections, you're going to know the answers. Okay. So the biggest mistake reps make is that they don't go out there. They'll talk to one person. They're like, oh, my gosh, they said no. You know, but you got to go out there and talk to 10, 20 people so you can learn the program, so you can learn the objections, and then you follow up with all those people, and you can keep following up with them. So those guys are amazing. Uh, number two is Lisa DeZolt. I mean, so impressed. I'm so impressed by Lisa because – when I first, she, she, her voice is, you know, very low. She, you know, she talks very, you know, very, very quiet and very respectful. John, this and that. And I'm like, when we're, I'm first talking to them, I'm like, oh, I, I you know, I don't know if she's going to make it. <laughs> but uh, she has signed since October, her and her husband, Tommy, the work, he works a full time job. She has, she's got five kids. They have five kids. She, and, uh, you know, she would literally go into places and call me, John, I'm here with the business owner. He only speaks Spanish. Boom. Just put me on the phone. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm a woo -woo, you know, so, but she would, she, had, she signed 15 accounts since October, which is huge, which is huge. And she's on, she's with those 15 accounts. She's probably gonna make anywhere between three to five thousand dollars a month. I love that. I love that. Guys, real quick, how many of you guys would want to make three to five thousand dollars? How many of you guys wish you would have started last October where Lisa started, guys? Lisa's a stay-home mom. Guns, come on. <laughs> If Lisa can do it, what is stopping you? What's your excuse? No, Lisa's a junk. Lisa's a junk. And this is why exactly we, we picked Lisa as one of our testimonials, um, you know, for, for uh, the marketing for this exact program because we were like, man, she's, she's a superstar. She, she is a superstar. But, man, that, I, I, I love that. I love to hear that. That's game changer, man. Absolutely. And then the next person is a Bryce Camerzel out of Colorado. Um, he, he started, he started around really in around November and uh, the end of November, but he signed about five or six accounts. Uh, one of them is a Mexican restaurant doing about 130,000 a month, uh, uh, two meat markets, each doing about 130,000 a month and a couple other restaurants doing about 130,000 a month. So all his accounts are pretty volume heavy, around the $100,000 range, which just with those five or six accounts, 
he's probably going to be making about five thousand dollars a month in residuals. Game changer, game changer. Yeah. And there's so many strategies, guys. Look, look. This is exactly why I brought John Sarabia on today's live because I want to stress the importance of getting stuck on analysis paralysis, guys. Okay. Now, I promised all the agents, all the clients that we've enrolled since last year, I, I told them at the end of the year, you remember, John? I was like, hey, we're about to blow this up. Guys, I'm going on national news in the next couple of weeks. And guess what I'm going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about Lisa. I'm going to be talking about Bryce. I'm going to be talking about Danny and his partner from New York. Guys, who here wants to be our next client success story? Is it you? I'm not talking about just the glory. I'm talking about building a secondary source of income, some real residual, some real proof. It's 2024, guys. It's your year if you're watching this, okay? All right, John. And then and then one more that is, I can literally tell you that the ink on her paperwork is not even dry yet. We're talking about Crystal Denham. I've only spoken to her one time, but she signed up in the end of January, really got started in February, and signed five accounts in February. Five accounts right out of the gate. She already had sales experience, so it was easy for her to learn the process and get out there. Imagine. Game changer. Yeah, that's game changer. completely game changer. She just, I mean. I literally don't even know that much about her because I've only spoken to her once and she's already she's on here. five accounts. She's on here. Yeah, I know she's, she's on here. here. <laughs> Crystal, come talk to me. I'm going to shoot you a DM. All right? I'm going to shoot you a DM. I'm going I'm to give you a special offer, okay? some An offer you're not going to be able to refuse. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll, we'll talk. All right? Yeah, and she's Anyways. got, she's just said she's got a lot more in the pipeline already. So, um, yeah, and you know, guys, as we have the our program has gotten better and better and better as we've you know when we started last year to now we've got it fine tuned through the training process, getting you trained, getting you the support that you need, and you know it's up to you guys. You know, one of the key things that a couple people have told me that uh, you know and why I know they're successful. Okay, as a gentleman, also uh, Adam in Oklahoma. Okay. He signed up. He, he went, he went hunting. He shot a deer. Uh, he signed up the, the gun store where he bought, got his gun and his bullets. He signed them up on the cash discount. Okay. He went to the meat processor where he took his deer to get processed and he signed up the meat processor as well. And they were already on cash discount, you know? Uh, so, but one of the things that he told me is he's like, John, I was sitting outside in my car and I'm thinking, man, I don't really want to go in, in that business. You know, I'm, you know, you get nervous and stuff. And then he looked at the, at a picture he had of his family there, his kids and his wife. And he's like, man, I'm going to do it for them. And he just get out. He got out of the car. He just did it. And he's like, man, that was once he did it, he saw that was so easy. Now I'm going to do it more. So many of us guys have sat in our car going, should I go in there? Should I not go in there? And, you know, like the slogan of Nike, you got to just do it. Yeah. Don't worry about the mistakes. Don't worry about your fears. Okay. Action takes over the fears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? As long as you take action, you don't have to worry about the fears. And we're yeah. here to help you every step of the way. I love that, man. I love that. And it's deep, guys. It's deep. And that's just a small amount of testimonials that John presented right there, guys. You know, and it's, it's because we're trying to keep this live under an hour. But that shows you 
what type of quality work we are putting into the program. We are refining it month after month after month. We're making it better, making it better. We're hiring more people. We're investing more money in the program so we can get people better results and we can show more social proof because it's what I always see, guys. Your success is our success. We can't grow unless our clients grow. And it's a game changer. We've already hired over four clients in the past 12 months that have major success that we've been like, hey, we have openings and we would love to hire clients to work directly through, through us. And we're talking about like, guys, just imagine if you were looking for a residual source of income and now you have two residual sources of income just because you smashed it on the first one and now you get to work with us directly with us it's awesome so all right cool john let's jump into the questions man i know there's a, a quite a bit of questions here you got me excited bro you got <laughs> me excited it, it's, almost, it's almost 9 p.m right now on the east coast but he got me excited yeah all right it's so, exciting business it is man it's, it, it is you know i i could uh I can, I can see it now, man. The the excitement. I I can. I mean, the, I can, I can, the success of the students is really our success, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, wow, that's amazing. I I I mean, I love it. I love it when I see people's success. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Okay, so I'm here, just gonna pick out one of these questions. What does it do? Okay, here's a good one. He's a he's a, he's a pretty uh, good beginner question. What businesses? Have you seen the most residuals from? So let's go with the top three, John. Yeah. So guys, the easiest one, of course, is restaurants. Um, you know, uh, restaurants is good. Tire stores is very good. Um, we're seeing a good good uh, residuals from uh, tow truck companies as well. Uh, I like mobile mechanics that do that work on diesel trucks, uh, semis things of that nature. Uh, those are pretty good, high volume, good residuals. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, we, we can do online stores, we can do retail stores. Um, but you know, I think the bread and butter has been restaurants is the number one. And then everybody else is after that. Love that. Love that. All right, guys, there you have it. All right. This come from ghetto. What's the biggest mistake someone makes when starting out? Yes, actually, the biggest mistake that somebody makes when starting out is uh, the inaction, okay? Um, not working on their fears, you know, you know, the, fe fear can stop people from, from acting. So um, that's the biggest thing is, is, is if they don't take any action, and sometimes, you know, people will every and one thing that happens a lot is everybody hits a brick wall you know at a certain point but once they push through that or they step away for a few days and they come back refreshed they push through that and that's when they reach the success but guys and everything that you do in life okay if you go to boot camp when i was in the military they're going to be like you know you're like oh I, you mean i get to travel the world and you know, you know, be part of the military and see the world, right? That's going to be awesome. But before you do that, you got to do two months of boot camp. Okay. That two months of boot camp is where you're completely disciplined and learning the program. Okay. You, they teach you how to brush your teeth. They teach you how to fold your underwear, your shirt, uh, you know, you, they basically say that you're going to eat this for breakfast, you're going to eat this for lunch, you're going to eat this for dinner. There's no sodas. There's nothing from the outside. Just you, you come out of there clean as a whistle. Your body just went through two months of complete cleanse. Okay, you're running, you're hiking, you're you know marching, and you're completely fit, fit after those two months. Okay, then you go to regular hours. Okay, now you can do whatever the heck you want. Okay. This program, there is a learning process. Okay. If some of you guys are willing to, to spend a hundred thousand dollars to go to college to kind of figure out what you want to do, you know, <laughs> and then you know, when you go to college, it's you know, you still got to come out and work. Okay. With this program, you could literally 
be making a hundred thousand dollars a year after a you know six six to twelve months of being in this program. Okay, it's just a matter of how much you commit to doing it. Exactly. Exactly. No, that makes sense, guys. And it's all about intention and what exactly your purpose is, your why. You know, just like one of the clients that was sitting in the car and it was just like, fuck it. I'm going to go in there because I got to do it for my family. And that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's my life, right? So you guys got to go and you got to be intentional with what you do every single day. All right, John, let's go ahead with this last question on here. And this is actually a pretty interesting one, man. I've, I've been reading through a couple of these, man. There's so many good ones, but unfortunately, we just got to keep it to three. And let's go ahead and choose this one right here. John, do you have any suggestions on winning clients' favor if they're already enrolled in a competing cash program? Absolutely. So, you know, there's there's a lot of we, we're always changing people over from their cash discount program. And, you know, what I like to do is I like to get the owner to open up and tell me what what don't you like about your current cash discount program? OK, if he's on a four percent cash discount program, I could lower it to three and a half percent. And sign him up that way. You know, I could lower it to 3%, okay? Um, you know, but one thing that I also do is in that situation, I might say, look, you might be on a cash discount program, but the cash discount program started over four years ago, and there's been a lot of changes in the programs over the last four years. If you haven't had a statement analysis done, you know, over the, in the past six to 12 months, you may be paying fees that you're not aware of. You may be paying the PCI non-compliance fee. Uh, you may be paying a statement fee. You may be paying batch fees, certain fees. So let me take a look at your statement and I'll see what you're paying and see if I can remove those fees from you. And you know, we had we had one client we signed in Colorado. Um, we actually had her email us uh, the contract she signed with the other company. And it turns out she had a Valor terminal that she was paying, I think a, I think she was paying $150 a month for her Valor terminal, which we said, we're just going to loan you a Valor terminal. So we were able to keep her on the cash discount at the same rate that she was on by us just eliminating her cost of her machine she was paying every month. Okay, so there's many ways to uh, compete. Um, and then one of the key things that's very, very important is that business owners like to have a local rep. A lot of businesses sign up online for a cash discount program. Let's say they sign up for Square or Toast. A lot of times they're not going to have a rep. They sign up with Bank of America or Wells Fargo or Chase. They don't get a rep. Okay. They're frustrated. They got to call an 800 number. When I introduce myself, I say, my name is John Sarabia. I'm with Payback. I am your local agent. I live in this area. I actually live right down the road. You know, here's my cell phone number. Here's my business card. That's my cell phone number. Anytime you call me, I'm going to handle your issue for you. You don't need to call the 800 number. I'm going to take care of it for you. OK, and they love that. They're like, OK, great. And uh, and a lot of times there is no issues. They're just they're happy. You know, I may not talk to a business owner for a year or two after I sign them up because there's no issues. But if they, there is an issue, I'm going to answer and I'm going to call our office and we're going to get it taken care of. And so people buy you. OK, they buy you. That's the thing as well. If you can just in in. You know, one of the things that I have and Paul has is that we're genuine. There's no magic tricks. We, we don't need to do anything. We don't need to do anything shady. You know, we don't need to throw in a toaster to get somebody to sign up. We're just honest, direct, and people know that. They feel that, you know. 
at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help you. By me helping you, it helps me in the long run. But at the end of the day, my first goal is to help you. And that translates over to the business owner. Absolutely. Put clients first, guys. It always comes back. I've always big, been a big believer in karma. And mm -hmm. I always tell people that, man, that people can see it, especially in 2024. The, the, the biggest thing, the, the number one reason why people will not do business with you <laughs> is because they don't trust you. That's the number one reason. There is nothing else. You can have the best offer in this world. But if you can't be trusted, and, and it all comes down to building that foundation, giving them that value, and educating them, because what they don't know is what they don't know, right? So they, you, they have to understand it. You have to give them clarity, all right? So guys, give it up for John Sarabia, my business partner within the Merchant Automation Program. Phenomenal, phenomenal. We're going to be seeing John a lot on these lives coming up this year. He's just been dropping these gems, guys. So give it up to John. Go ahead and comment, John, down in the comments below if you loved all the gems that he dropped that fire. Because, man, that was straight gasoline, John. I love it. It got me pumped, bro. But, John, have a great night, man. Any last words of wisdom before I let you go? Um, I would just say, guys, right now is the perfect time. Every merchant automation rep that is signed up, they're like, when they close their first sale, they're like, man, I can't believe I waited this long. Uh, even uh, Crystal Denham said the other day, she's like, I can't believe I waited so long thinking about signing up for the program. I wish I would have signed up before, you know, because, guys, you got to take action. Taking action is the key. OK, once you take action, guys, you have our support. You're going to have all our help. We have a full staff. We give you all the help and all the support that you need to make sure that you're successful. It is, it, it, we really take it personal um, that we want to make you successful. That's the goal. You know, if you're successful, we're successful. And we're going to share with you all our, all our knowledge that we've had over the years, all our staff, and we're going to here to give you all the support. But you have to take action, guys, because come December, you know, come December, you could either say, Wow, I'm glad I signed up in, in March and I got $3,000 in residuals that I don't have to work for anymore, you know? Or you could just wait till December and be like, okay, I wish I would have signed up back in March and I could have had $3,000 in residuals right now, okay? Truth, man, truth. And, and that's what I always tell myself. The number one thing that people always ask me, Paul, if you could change anything right now, what would you have changed back then? You know, back when you were a teenager, back when you were in your younger 20s, I would have been like, hey, man, I just would have started sooner, to be honest. I would have put my blinders on and just got to work, right? But, Absolutely. hey, yeah. John, <laughs> I want to thank you again, brother. I'm going to hit you up after this, but take care of yourself, man, and we'll talk okay, soon. Okay, Paul. Good to see you again. Later, man. Guys, what a phenomenal, phenomenal presentation by John. All right, guys. So we have quite a few inquiries now. I'm getting a lot of DMs on the side, guys. <laughs> with people saying, how do I start? Well, that's exactly what I'm about to go into, guys. We're going to be talking about the greatest opportunity in 2024, guys. So bear with me as I go ahead and actually go and share with you guys this exact PowerPoint. Okay.